Okay, so in my previous video, I was showing you how to produce this simple sort of costing spreadsheet. So you can use this in either food preparation and nutrition or your catering um, non exam assessment or coursework. Okay, this obviously works out how uh, much certain ingredients cost to make recipes um, and it will obviously divide it out by the number of portions. Okay, so simply what we do is we put the pack size in, we put the pack cost. Um, the price for gram will then be calculated by dividing these two out. It, we then just uh, insert in how many grams we're using and then it will work out how much it will cost for the individual recipe. And if that recipe can be portioned out into a number of portions, it will give us an individual cost for the individual portions that students are going to be using, okay, or the, the people are going to be eating. Okay. Now obviously we want to start filling this um, this table in. Okay, so I'm just going to delete out some of the um, cells there and we want an easy way of doing this now certain softwares obviously that you can buy quite expensive uh, they will calculate this for you because we can just find the ingredients okay but this has not got a database of ingredients the one I showed you before so what we're going to use is just a simple sort of supermarket website to get an idea of some costs okay so I'm just going to go onto the website okay and we're going to um, look at the cost of items so this is um, tescos.com it's like a grocery um, sort of site, okay, and we'll just open up uh, a recipe for a product, okay, so we've got some ingredients, okay, so first thing that's come up, let's see what's come up, um, we're going to Jamie Oliver here, and let's find something that looks pleasant, there we go, roast salmon and artichokes, okay, so we're going to go into roast salmon and artichokes, um, we've got nutrition for serving here, which is quite useful, okay, but I, I just need some uh, some information about some ingredients, okay. So first ingredient maybe is olive oil, okay, so if we copy that um, olive oil ingredient there, and I'm going to paste it in, so olive oil, there's my first ingredient in there, okay. So the pack size, okay, is obviously how much olive oil we're going to use. So if we go into the Tesco's website, and we find that ingredient, olive oil, and press enter there, okay. We can see we've got a Tesco olive oil there, and the pack size is one litre, so that is 1,000 millilitres. I'm going to type in 1,000, because that's how many millilitres, and it's going to be asking me for the pack cost, okay? So the pack cost in this particular case is £3.60, okay? So in my pack cost, I'm going to put 3.6 like this, which is the cost. You can see there it's not come up in pounds, so I'll just address that. I'll just change this to a uh, pound sign by changing the number to a currency so if you click ok it's now come up as three pound sixty so what this means is one milliliter of that olive oil is 0 0.0036 um, pounds okay so that's working it out now it's going to ask there for how many um, milliliters we're going to use okay so if we go back into the recipe there it's saying olive oil it's likely to be maybe a here we go a tablespoon of olive oil that we're going to be using okay so what we can work out is how big a tablespoon is in milliliters there we go so one tablespoon is about 14.79 milliliters okay so if we go back in there and we put in 14.79 okay it will tell me how much that costs for the olive oil there so it's giving me a an outcome now i'm not going to go through all of these ingredients but we'll just do one more just so we get a, a feel for what we're doing here so here it's saying two times one kilogram fillets of salmon okay so my next ingredient is obviously salmon Okay, the pack size in this case is two kilograms, which is 2,000 grams. Okay, now we're going to look for the pack cost again. So back onto the Tesco's website, here we go. And I'm going to type in salmon. Uh, we'll put in salmon fillet and see what comes up. So we've got 130 grams here, 230 grams. I'm looking for something that's going to give me one kilo. So here we go, this is a kilogram of uh, salmon. It might not be exactly the one we want for this, but I'm just trying to get through this. So we've got one kilo of salmon there. We can see at the moment it's on offer, it's at £7.50, okay? So I'm going to type in there um, 15 pounds because obviously I need two one kilo packs to give me the amount, okay? And then I'm going to be obviously using um, all of that okay so the price per gram it's not calculated it down there but price per gram there is um, 75.0075 okay the amount used is 2000 okay so it should therefore give me the total cost of that point at 15 pounds there coming up okay so that 15 pounds cost okay is giving me 
a total now of 15.0532 for the two ingredients together okay now we don't know how many portions that this is going to make at the moment so if i just i'm going to refer to my recipe obviously you can work out how many portions you're going to do but this says serves 12 to 14 so if i type in uh, 12 portions there we can copy this all the way down for how many portions i want we can see it's going to cost me 15 pounds for the dish in total and each individual cost at the moment is going to be one pound 25 per person okay so that gives us quite a lot of information that will help us to cost out our dishes